Now, Kissing Booth 3 is not a feel-good movie <laughs> that you can safely watch with your family. It follows the lines of Kissing Booth 1 and Kissing Booth 2 with adorable characters that you probably will find in your home or homes around your neighborhood. It focuses on that crucial summer that people go through right after high school and before college, where things are in turmoil and need to be set as they explore adulthood. Joey King returns as Al Evans and Jacob Ellardy as Noah Flynn, and they still have that amazing chemistry on screen, Albert being, you know, very different in terms of height. Taylor Zekar returns as Marco, and for some reason, all these movies, they make him not as good looking as he is in real life. Just look up his Instagram. It's rated PG-13 like the other movies, um, but I wouldn't bring a kid younger than 12 <laughs> and watch it at home. There are some sex scenes, of course. Pretty tame, but still just be aware that they are there. That's some profanity and some sexualization of teens, but none too overt. Noah's relationship with Elle is less toxic here, and we see a more mature couple kind of navigating the onsets of life. The previous Kissing Booth movies have always been a hit on Netflix, claiming the top spot for a couple of weeks, and this is pretty much the same. You'll get a great story with a lot of heart, and you will remain stuck to the screen to the end of the movie. This film gets an 8 out of a 10, and it's a should watch with your kids, as long as they're older than 12. It's an excellent opportunity to bring up a subject of relationships, especially with COVID-19, keeping them to a minimum. As always, feel free to subscribe to continue to keep you updated with movie news. Thanks.